Hello, hello, my Taurus says, welcome to the channel. This is Kelsey from Empress of Energy, ready to jump into a reading for you guys. I love you all so much. If you're new, please do subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. If you're returning, welcome back. Listen, if you keep seeing my white chin bobbing, bobbing down, <laughs> I've got a face mask on, all right? I had to. <laughs> so, um, I'm multitasking. Yeah? Mad busy. Readings, personal readings, which I absolutely love, by the way. Love, love, love. So, I'm going to have to pamper myself at the same time, you know? <laughs> so, don't mind me, okay? So, let's see what we've got going on today, guys. Let's see what we've got going on. Last day of Mercury Retrograde. We'll probably still be in a little bit of a shadow period, but let's hope the past pisses off. <laughs> Hmm, it's not looking likely, because look, this is all I keep seeing. But I've seen so many blessings though, Taurus. Like a lot of blessings on the way. A lot, a lot. A lot of money on the way for some of you as well. Oh, what did I just say? Oh my god. Yeah. Money, money, money. Some of you are gonna be coming into money. Some of you it's through a legal situation. Um some of you, you're going to get a better paid job, you're going to get a new job, pay rise, promotion, some kind of thing. You're being told to relax. Hmm. Don't worry about the lies that are being said through a legal situation or karmically. Whoever's telling lies about you. Listen, you've got a lot of jealousy around your Taurus. I, always, I don't ever like to touch upon that because we don't necessarily care. But you have. You've got a lot of people jealous. A lot of people jealous around you. There's, you know, a lot of people that don't like you as well. <laughs> um, for no, no, no serious reason. But um, you're being told to lie. Don't, don't care. Don't worry about that shit. Because it's all going to be fine anyway. Mm -hmm. Show me Taurus's energy today, please, spirit. So place a sign in your birth chart anywhere you like. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Could find messages in here for you. Cross watch is always welcome. Do not force the messages to fit if they're not for you. Take what's yours and leave the rest for another Taurus. We've got the King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Okay. Tell me more. Oh! Communication is coming, guys. Honest communication. Someone's ready to speak. No, <laughs> that wasn't speaking before. Shit. The Eight of Wands. Oh, my... Five of Cups. Oh, the Five of Swords. Oh my God, listen. Whoever's in your energy that you don't speak to anymore. Um, but there was something quite powerful between the two of you, you know. We'll find out more, more surely, like, when we clarify. But whoever is in your energy that you're thinking about that you've not spoke to, but you want to speak to, you could be missing them, but I feel like they're missing you. But they've held back. They're not going to be doing it anymore. They want to tell you why they did. <laughs> yeah, they want to reveal them emotions feelings could we deal with the cancer tell me some more this is funner ten of wands look someone is ready to release the burdens and come and spill someone is coming to spill one more ten of wands oh my god one more please I mean, to be dead honest, I don't, that, wow, that just flew out and jumped back in my hand. <gasps> Could be a Scorpio. Something, you know, endings. This could be something that's already ended, but endings bring on transformations. Someone's releasing the burdens. This is someone that you possibly held on to. Could be a Leo, but you've had strength. You've never shown it, maybe, you know. You've held on to it in a way, but never shown it. There's been ghosting. This is someone that you do not speak to. Could be an age difference involved. Um, and someone that you've got children with as well. Wow. Some of you two children with. Shit. Oh my god. This is someone from your past that you've shared a lot with. A lot, a lot, a lot. Whether that be kids, money, home. <laughs> Memories. But it's someone you don't speak to. I mean, it'd be different for everyone. Obviously, a general reading, so, you know. Take it as it resonates, but <laughs> could be an Aries or a Gemini. Like I've seen, you know, the Ace of Swords, I've seen the Ace of Pentacles a couple of times. There's so much 
truth, blessings, abundance on its way to Taurus and you just don't, I feel like you just don't anticipate it even though you've manifested it. Like, and I love that. Do you know what I mean? You're very grounded, do you know what I mean? You're not up your own ass. You're not, you don't, you're not an entitled person. You're not an entitled character. You know when people get about feeling they're entitled to this, that and the other, or that the world owes them a favour. That is not you. You don't even believe that you deserve your own manifestations. But yes, you do. Yeah, you do. Oh, justice is being served. It's time to turn your back on it now. It's like, yeah, truth's come in. Justice is being served. Good news is coming, guys. Honestly, someone's coming to offer something. Someone's going to be bringing some kind of gesture. Some of you, it's a gift. Someone's going to be sending you a gift with that page of pentacles. Interesting. I love this for you. Oh. So you're just mad busy. Look at your two pentacles and the eight of pentacles. You and the six of pentacles, you're not even looking up. So this you're not even looking at this person right now. You're trying to distract yourself, some of you, you're trying to keep busy. Um, you know, you're focusing on your work, your money, your stability, your home. You're trying to not think about this person. Mm hmm Tell you about this King of Swords. Whoa, look at you firing right out there. You're staring at this person. You're waiting. Oh, wait, come out this side. You're waiting for this person. You're literally watching them, waiting for them. Yeah, you are. Look. Male or female, does not matter. No gender in tarot. You are looking at this person like... Whenever you're ready. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Oh my. <laughs> Shit in hell. The Knight of Cups and the King of Pentacles. So, jeez. For some of you, you've been chatting to someone else, but waiting for this person. For some of you, you've been dealing with somebody else, but waiting for this person. But for a lot of you, you've been focused on your work, on your money. You know, your own King of Pentacles energy. But... For a lot of you that I'm connecting with, you've got someone else in your energy because you were bored of waiting for this person. They never left. Never left your energy. But you've tried to distract yourself. I've already said that. So whatever that distraction is, take it to resonates. But yeah, whoever's been holding back is about to rebirth. Shit, guys. The same cards are showing up in different decks. Come on. The Five of Swords and Death. But look at the death in this side. It's not, it's not the scary death. It's the transformation side of things. And that's exactly what I felt when that came out. Whoever's been holding back, keeping quiet, you've not spoken to, you've not seen. They want a rebirth. They're going to be offering you something. I'm telling you now. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Tell me about this eight of ones, please. Okay. Two of swords. Yeah, this is someone that you don't speak to. You don't, you don't expect this. You're like, nah, they're not going to reach out to me. For some of you, this is someone that you blocked, so you think they're unable to, but... Tell me more. The Three of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles. So, again, you've just stuck your head, it's just stuck your head into work, you guys, for the majority of you. But uh, when you hear from this person, they, they are going to be offering some kind of gesture, some kind of proposal on how to work together. They want to collaborate. They want to come and, you know, they want to build with you. You don't see this coming to the point where you're not going to have a clue what to do with it when you get it. You're going to be asking your friends for advice. You're going to be asking people or someone, you know, trusted people. You're going to be asking them what would they do. You literally are because you don't know what, you're not going to know what to do with it because you don't expect it that much. It's a mystery to you right now. Some of you feel it intuitively, but you're still like, nah, you're full of shit, Kelsa. I'm really not, guys. Nope, I am not. It's on its way. It is. Some finds just so gorgeous, like. And I just don't feel like you even know that. Like, you don't even know how beautiful you are, I feel, for the majority of you. It's, it's like, I'm not saying you're oblivious, but you are. You're oblivious to shit that you're not necessarily in. So, you know, whatever you're focused on is what you're focused on. And right now, it's not actually this person. They're in your energy. Hell yeah. But it's like you're focused elsewhere. You're distracted. So, 
when it does come in, it's going to be like, oh shit, what do we, what, what do, we do now? <laughs> Tell me about this Five of Cups, please. The Ten of Pentacles way to pop out there. Someone misses your abundant energy. Tell me about this Five of Cups, please. <laughs> I can't cope with this reading. Oh my God, as well. I've just done a personal reading for someone and I hope they watch and I've just got the exact same cards. Mad. Absolutely mad. Uh, different decks as well. But look what's popped out again. The Five of Swords, guys. There's a lot of holding back here and there's a lot of regret for that. Someone regrets holding back. Someone regrets it. Holding back from you, the Hierophant. But again, you've, you're you going to give this person the time of day. I swear to you, you will. You are going to. You're going to accept. You're going to listen to what they're saying anyway. I don't know. Like, <laughs> as I say, I don't know what the outcome is going to be. But then we've got the Ace of Pentacles right here. So, you know, someone's going to be offering you a new stable beginning. And you are going to listen. You are. You're going to listen exactly to what they've got to say. Because some of you, you want to know why the you know, chat just went dead. You know, someone started holding back. Someone started holding back emotions, feelings. This could have been just a dead out of the blue. Do you know what I mean? It just baffled you and confused you. But you've got on with your things. You've left it behind in a way. Um, you know, you've been focused elsewhere. But this is... This is about to come right back in. Because something that's been going on, which is a possible reason as to why they've had to hold back, is ending. Uh-oh. Soulmate vibes. Past life connection here. You can feel each other energetically. Like, neither of you want to give it up. You know? The nine of wands. But both of you were, both of you were there. So neither of you want to give up on each other. So good news is coming. Someone's going to be offering gesture, proposal of some sort. Truth's coming. Tell me about this five of swords. <laughs> Six of swords. So someone's coming away from... Someone's now able to speak, you know? Fucking hell. So sorry. Wow, my language. Oh my god. So sorry, guys. That just literally... I couldn't cope with what just came out then. Someone's ready... Someone's ready to speak. Mate ones. Sorry, guys. Reconciliation? Anyone? <laughs> so the five of swords to the six of swords were literally coming out, sailing away from holding back. We are communicating. Look how repetitive these cards are. This is a joke. So sorry about my language. Judgment. So Taurus, I'm so sorry about why I didn't tell you exactly how I feel. Or I'm sorry as to why I just didn't show you how I feel. Or I didn't, you know, I just left communication there. I just left, I just left you there. Like That's what I feel like. Someone just left you there. Then you didn't, you didn't know what to do with that. So you got off. You know, that's kind of vibe that I'm getting. So they're going to be like, well, this is why that happened. So... You know, can we start again? I love you. <laughs> I love you. You make me so happy. You're my sunshine, Taurus. <coughs> Someone don't want you knowing that. Wow. You're going to get exactly what you want. <coughs> oh my God. <coughs> One second. Wow, that was mad. It's like someone just literally squashed my vocal cords for telling you that. Because I'm getting like a little bit. What's, what's, I'm getting, a, I'm feeling some kind of way in this reading. I'm kind of feeling a little bit. Well, come on then. That's how it's making me feel because the cards are that repetitive. And like this, I'm saying the same thing. So I'm feeling, I'm getting like a little bit like. Come on then, where, where is it? Do you know what I mean? So I don't know if any of you lot are feeling like that. And then what I just said then, it was like, whoa, shut up, Kels. <laughs> shut up, Kelsey. Wow. Anywho, tell me about this Ten of Wands, please. Yeah, okay. So the three of wands, so something's been going on in someone's energy that they've been waiting to be able to release, okay? And so, waiting for the ships to come in, like looking out to the future, waiting, like you're the ship, you're up here, you're the future, but there's something about the past that this person's had to deal with, you know, something shit, 
burdensome, heavy, um, you know, there's sadness involved, there's a lot of shit from someone's past that's got in the way of this, whatever that could be, take it as it resonates, but it's ending, it's completing with the Ten of Wands, it's dropping, it's dropping, someone wants to come in and defend the position, defend their position, someone's done some like transformation work on self maybe and they want to come and tell you all about that they want to like they want to make you see them they want to make you see them again yep tell me about this death please this is a bit of a quicker reading isn't it it's because it's so repetitive guys same same messages same messages tell me about this death energy please Could be Sagittarius here coming in very soon. Ten of Pentacles. Like, listen, you guys are gonna be like, you're gonna. Some of you get married. I said this yesterday. Some of you are literally gonna be getting married. If it's not like a literal marriage, it's two people coming together, combining abundance and creating something absolutely mega. And that's happening soon. Very soon here with the Knight of Swords, guys. And listen, you've had enough patience. You've had patience now. You've pleased the universe. You've done the work. You've kept active whilst having patience with the situation, you know. You've not just sat on your ass and you've not sat on your ass and expected the world to deliver to you, the universe to deliver to you. You've gone out and grafted. You've gone out and got what you wanted. Do you know what I mean? You just there's just an energy of having to trust the process. <coughs> Again, while wow, someone does not want you having this reading. <coughs> oh my god, what is going on? <laughs> well that's what I've got to always I'm gonna end the reading because I actually feel like I'm choking. Someone's like Squeezing my, my throat, my throat chakra, what on earth? But yay, I love you all. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know how the reading went for you. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Mwah.